and it's a pleasure to have you on here. And uh, what I'd like you to do is, you've been sort of experimenting with a, uh, uh, a thing when people don't respond to your phone calls. Maybe you can cover that with us for a second. Absolutely, Al. You know, um, we're trying to really create some momentum going into the uh, last quarter here, September, October, November. And one of those key pieces is really going through your list and contacting people and inviting people. And, uh, you know, traditionally, I've always gotten on the phone and called people. I'll just sit there, pick up the phone, call people and talk to them and just, you know, catch up and tell them a little bit about what I'm excited about and book coffee with them. Well, lately, I've been calling people and I don't get calls back. People don't return their calls. And I think Really what's happened is in our culture, people's relationships with their telephones has changed. They're not grabbing it when it rings. When people get a phone call, it's either a solicitor calling or it's an emergency. And if they don't recognize the number, they don't pick up and they don't listen to their voicemail. Um, in my experience, that often happens. And I was thinking, you know, how can I change my method of communication with people so I can get them interested in sitting down with me and hearing more about what I'm doing. And so I started sending out some text messages and uh, going through my list and just to sending people a message. Sometimes I don't even have a phone number for them, so I'll go on Facebook and I'll send them a, a private message on Facebook Messenger. And uh, I just say, hey, you know, how have you been? Hey, Darlene, hope you've been having a great summer. It's been a while. Uh, don't know uh, if you know, I got married recently and I'll just do a little personal piece, but then I'll say the reason I'm contacting you, you know, I don't even put that in there. I'll just say, I am putting a team together of ambitious entrepreneurial women. If it's a guy, you could say people or team members or whatever, but you can, you know, modify it. And I'll, sit, and I'll just say, I would love to sit down with you, have a cup of coffee or grab a light lunch and uh, fill you in on what I'm doing. Um, regardless, I'd love to catch up with you anyways. What's your schedule look like for next week? You know, I'm in Issaquah. I think we're fairly close. How about, and I'll name a place, you know, maybe a Starbucks or something easy like a Panera Bread. Let's go grab a salad or whatever. And, uh, you know, I've been sending those messages out I've been getting responses. I've been able to sit down with people. And, you know, if I put in there, regardless, I'd love to catch up, then it kind of takes the pressure off a little bit. And it gives me an opportunity to build relationship and reconnect with somebody. But on the other hand, I am up front and say, you know, I'm excited and I am putting a team together. I'd love to have you take a look at what I'm doing and see if you would like to be a part of this. So it's been pretty effective. September's a big month for us. We can change the trajectory of our company simply by going after it. And the fall run's one of our best runs. Talk a little bit about your experience with the fall run. Yeah, you know, September, September is a great month to really reassess your goals and reset your goals and really zero in on what you want to have happen. And where's your volume coming from for the month of September? You know, how many new enrollments personally are you going to have? How many of those 500 point premier packs uh, are you going to have people come in on? And, uh, you know, that's a function of, you know, getting new people in front of it. But again, who on your team are you going to help do that as well? You need to sit down with them and say, okay, let's help you enroll three people this month on a premier pack and get them launched. Let's help them get there for and free and just sit down and do the math. Get out your calculator, add up the numbers and say, this is our volume goal for the month of September. This is where we want to be. This is how we're going to get it. We're going to get new people in front of this. This is how we're going to get new people in front of it. This is how we're going to contact and invite new people. And this is our team that's going to help you do that. If they, uh get their 10,000 OLL, they would go to the dinner with Bill Lee. Uh, but even if they don't, if they get, go from 2,000 to 4,000, 4,000 to 8,000, they're gonna grow their business. How important is it just to be a team thing where we show Bill Lee and get him excited about a large increase in volume in the month of September, but continuing it on through the fall? 
Well, when you talk about a large increase in volume, it's not just volume and product that's running through your business. It's new people coming into the team and it changes the atmosphere. It changes the culture. It creates energy and excitement. When you have new people, brand new people, my goal is let's sponsor somebody new who doesn't even know about Univera and let's help them hit bronze like in a matter of weeks and who can they bring on board and you get somebody like that that is fresh and new and they are on the products and it's changing their health and they're sharing it with other people and you duplicate that again and again and again the whole atmosphere of everything we're doing changes our zoom meetings change our in-person meetings change our daily activities change you know, we've got people ringing our phone off the hook and sending us messages and just excited, creating that momentum and that excitement and that'll just snowball. So in my opinion, new people is the catalyst to everything happening.